Hello and welcome back. So two days ago, we got our newest look at Halo Infinite during the Xbox E3 event, and it was nothing short of magical. In the Discover Hope trailer, Microsoft gave us some really good details and clues to the game and its story, but didn't give too much away, which is perfect in my opinion. I know a lot of people were expecting some gameplay during the event, but honestly, I think the trailer was perfect for a game launching in a year and a half. Anyways, in this video, I'm going to go into various parts of the trailer and maybe see if I can piece together what the story could potentially be. First, I will give you the rundown of the trailer, then I'll get to my questions and theories. So, without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we see is this red warning sign flashing at a marine sleeping in a chair when, you know, he is suddenly awoken by movement. He gets up from this chair and, and grabs two items from the front pocket of his vest. One looks kind of like a floppy disk to me, while the other is some kind of cartridge. He inserts them into other devices and the warnings go away. But don't get too happy, because soon there is a breach of some kind. Some kind of pipe has burst and is leaking a gas throughout the ship. A ship that looks really similar to the classic Pelican design. So after stopping the gas and falling to the floor, the Marine sees some recording from what I assume to be his wife. The camera turns around the hologram, giving the wife some weird shapes. But when the camera comes back around to the Marine, it is evident that some time has passed. As you can see, his beard and hair has gotten longer, and the inside of the pelican is cold, clearly colder. You know, because it's cold in space. Anyways, the computer on the pelican then declares that the signal has been detected. So this marine gets up and establishes himself on the radio as UNSC Pelican Echo 216. There is no response, but outside the window. The Marine brings Master Chief inside, and you will immediately see that he is back in his classic Mark VI armor design. While in space, the Chief's power supply has been fried, putting him in survival mode. This mode is most likely similar to the armor lockup like in Halo 3, where the suit does what it can to preserve and protect the wearer, should the power source go out. More on that in my theory section. The Marine connects two cables to try and overwrite the lockdown using that what power the Pelican has left. In this process, the armor's power supply comes back online, and the pelican has its own power restored, to which the marine says, yes, yes, we are going home. And then he welcomes Master Chief back. He later states that Master Chief has been out in space for a little while. Then, Chief opens his right hand, revealing an empty AI chip. Chief puts it into his helmet, and his HUD displays this. Weapon containment device inserted. Verification ID 3092702382. AI not detected. Continue. This is very interesting to me. This clearly has to be Cortana's old chip, so time has passed and he still doesn't have her, which could really mean that she will play a role in the game as the new character she became during Halo 5, but I'll get back to that. Anyway, so Chief breaks away and asks the Marine for a status report, to which the Marine tells Chief that there's something he needs to see. So, Chief walks to the front of the Pelican in his Chief manner and looks out the window to see what looks like a broken Halo ring. The Marine then talks. We lost. Lost everything. There's nothing left for us here. I'm too poor here is. So clearly, something big went down and the humans lost. But who was it against? Cortana? The Flood? And what happened to this Halo ring? Is it Installation 04 from Combat Evolved? Or is it a new one that has been fought over? 
This scene really doesn't say. However, this battle most definitely must be the reason for why Chief has been out in space for so long. So now the pelican is attacked, and the marine begins to panic. These attackers may be related to the ones for the battle. So we see Chief pick up what seems to be a Halo Reach assault rifle, saying we need to fight before pulling a Master Chief and jumping straight out the pelican. So the trailer cuts to the title and shows the release date of Holiday 2020. But a good trailer doesn't end here. We have to have more. So this little extension shows us what looks like the control room of the Halo Ring, whether it be installation 04 or 07. We also get a bit of dialogue reminiscent of the opening scene of Halo 3 with what sounds like Cortana telling Chief. I chose you because you were special. I knew we would be perfect together. And I was right. Okay, so now let's get into some opinions and theories. First off, what happened before this new trailer? Clearly there was some kind of big battle, but between who and what for? Personally, it has got to be between humanity, particularly the Infinity, and Cortana's army of AI and or her guardians. Seeing as how Halo 5 ended, this makes the most sense. Now, I did mention the Flood earlier in this video, seeing as how this took place around a Halo ring, meaning the Flood for sure has to exist because the battles in the other, on the other rings all involve the Flood playing a role. But why were both parties fighting by a Halo ring? Well, remember how the Halo rings were sought after by the Covenant back in the original games? They believed the Halos would help guide them all on the Great Journey. Well, I think Cortana is thinking about using a Halo ring to wipe out anyone who stands in her way. Remember, she talked about how she wanted to bring peace and order to the galaxy back in Halo 5, and planned on using the Guardians to make this plan work. Maybe she believes the Halos would be an easier way to remove people that are giving her trouble. It all sounds crazy and weird, but it does make some sense in my mind. Hopefully the game explains it more. And with that in mind, it will also explain why the Master Chief is stuck out in space. He must have been a part of the big battle, but was out before the humans lost. So one thing I'm very excited about, and have been since the 3 tra 2018 trailer, is the return of the classic artwork, particularly Master Chief's armor. I got very excited seeing this during the trailer, but it does raise a few questions in my mind. Like, why is he in this style of armor? There has to be some kind of canonical reason for this style to return. Last time we saw the Chief, his visor was cracked and people weren't happy with the art style. So the change in style has definitely got to be because Microsoft and 343 Industries have listened to complaints about the style, as well as it might go in line with their idea that this game is a spiritual reboot of the series. The fact his armor was damaged could be a reason for the new, quote-unquote, new armor. You know. I'm sure this will be explained in outside content, and probably won't be explained too much in-game, but an explanation would be nice. As well as the armor, I would like to know why Chief has an older assault rifle. The one in the trailer looks like it walked straight out of Halo Reach. Why not have one more like Halo 3? I'm not complaining, I just would like a reason. Regardless, I am very excited to play with these classic designs alongside the new graphics. Overall, I am very pleased with this trailer. It gave us something new to talk about while we wait for the next piece of information to be given to us. Honestly, I'm super excited to see where the story goes, especially after the events of Halo 5. You can tell Halo is trying to make a comeback after the disaster, and I think that for a lot of people, Halo Infinite is the last straw. And I think 343 and Microsoft know this. The amount of detail, as well as the use of the classic art style, really seems like they are trying to keep Halo fans from leaving. The story has so much potential, and I'm so excited to see what they do with the Chief, Cortana, this new marine even, and the entire galaxy in the Halo universe. So much is at stake in this game, and I am for sure going to play it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Halo content, as well as for any of my other stuff. Also, leave a comment down below telling me what your favorite part about E3 was, as well as tell me what you're most excited to see in Halo Infinite. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all later.